We do have uh, sound people. Uh, po po Captain you know what the Polar? problem is? Norm is the sound engineer. <laughs> That's the problem. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, there can, can y'all hear me yeah, now? Now we can, can hear, hear you. you now. Okay. Well, we get there every year, and it's beautiful. It's gorgeous, sunny. Is it? Looks like a Rembrandt painting. But as soon as John starts talking, or as soon as we turn the mics on, the gnats just come out of everywhere. And they just devour us. This year, I had to go use the bathroom just we out in the forest. We don't need to know all the details, Norm. No, no. Callie, lately you've been... Like, oh, no, Norm, TMI, TMI. You know, what if our forefathers would have been like that with Paul Revere when he got on the horse and he's like, the British are coming. Oh, TMI, Paul Revere. He wasn't TMI. talking about the British are coming to your bathroom. <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> Anyways. Was it a foam bathroom? I think so. Pepcac? Uh, is the microphone working? Thank you. You haven't even told the story yet. Yeah, he's just, he's randomly we, I did. To get we We show yes. up. Okay, so we show up, guys, and we're about to start reporting. And John mentions to me, he's like, you know what, Norm? I think we're going to have a little nap problem. And I'm like, why? He's like, because I'm starting to film on my legs, my armpits, everywhere. And then... uh. Then he told me, did you know, Norm, that gnats What's he talking about? cling talking? more to light-skinned people? And I'm like, no way. And as soon as he says it, I just get, I mean, it's like a tornado of gnats around me. I could probably see like two inches in front of my nose. That is it. I mean, it's just complete darkness. And uh, they were not going to let John tell them what they can and can't do. And it was the one gnats? of them. Yeah. It was already bad. And then when we start uh, filming, we're over there, and John dares to scratch on that big rock, so it gets even worse. Like that was their sanctuary. Foam oh hinges there. yeah, it's their home. Yeah, Nat, and the the main gnat, one of them, his name was Cole, right? That's right, Nat King. And, and Cole. It happened to be he's the, the king. king. Yes, his name is. Oh. When, when they're flying around in my ear, I can hear him saying, he's like, look at this guy, you know. I went to his house. I slept on his couch. I didn't scratch it. I was courteous to him. He comes to my house and just scratches and messes up my furniture. Yeah. Well. We'll show him. Yeah. And that's when they started attacking. Good God. Dad. No, that can't be dead. I'm going to read. I'm going to bring that back. This is. This is our dead microphone. Oh. Here, I'm going to turn on the camera. Captain Poldark says that you are doing a good job, Norm. This is it. This is the camera. I mean, this is the microphone. Can you see? That's Let's see if it'll focus. That's the evil mic that has been causing us problems this is all it. morning. And this is uh -oh. the little, this is the little, uh, oh, Dave's not showing it. Norm. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh, there this go. is This is the microphone that's been giving us hassle galore. And this is the little uh, foam thing that they made Callie put on because just like that, she was hearing the popping noise. They were hearing the popping noise. You're not hearing popping from me, right, anymore. It was definitely the, the mic. So this mic has gone bad. This is only like a $20 microphone, okay? <laughs> so a and lot of people are here. constantly asking us about our equipment yeah. and stuff. And you guys, you know, we have a lot Oops. of stuff. Don't kill yourself. Oops. Here's we how here's how we deal stuff. here's how we oh deal with God. faulty microphones. Are you sure? Well, it's faulty now. There, now that one can no longer be <laughs> accidentally. And I'm, and I'm gonna be the one that has to solder it. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna <laughs> solder it together and try and use it again. Uh, yes, it is an, a wired XLR mic. These are about twenty bucks each. We uh, we have a camera right here. We can do a virtual tour. Okay, let's do a virtual do you tour. Do, do yeah. you guys want to see that? Yes, let's do it. You want to see a virtual tour of what we're doing here? All right. Yeah, okay. Aya is on the way. She's coming straight from the keynote. All right. So she got uh, hammered with questions, which is a great sign. Well, hopefully she gets here before the next one. I'm sure she will. 
Yeah, I can't hear you, so uh, I'm going to take one ear off so I can still hear Dave. Okay, so we have, um, as you can see, let's start over there in that corner. All right, so this is our grid system. This is what we look at uh, all day long. So we have the grid up there with the lights. We have three lights shining in our eyes and filling out the, uh, the background. Truss. It's a truss. What did I say? Grid. Well, it's a grid system. Okay. It's a truss. Yes, you're right. These are our Vixia cameras that we use. You saw us packing those up. And what's the rig called? The cage? What's that called? PNC cage. Oh, PNC cage. And then we have our arms. And Manfrotto. Are you not mic'd? No. Oh, okay. Uh, Manfrotto friction arms. And what? Oh, clamped uh, to the truss system up there. And yeah, the camera goes up to the HDMI to SDI converter. And then we have that piped in all the way to the tri uh, the oh, TriCaster. Sweet. Awesome! <laughs> That's awesome. That is the live monitor that we're looking at right there. We have another camera for a wide shot, which he's walking right in front of. And then over here, we have the chat room. There you guys are. And say hi so that you can... We're paying attention to that all day long. That's right beside our close-up camera right there and then you see the tally lights they're working we're paying attention to those again the uh, arm the manfredo arm and then down there show them all of our junk down there so at a place like this when we are at a conference we just have to find places for all our bags and stuff all our uh, gear and oh there are the pringles that you guys ate on the the snack the snacks on the way over here i can't talk today kleenex, kleenex nose spray jam hub. the jam hub this is for our ears. so this is our little mixer that we're using so that we can um pipe in our audio we can hear ourselves we can hear dave we can hear you got or the uh audio or what are these people called yeah. guests um over there is dave with our big uh, case, our DSP case that's holding the TriCaster, plus our monitors. You can't go and see all of that, I don't think. Um, that's Ken's desk over there. Um. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's the, the TriCaster, the uh, control board, uh, which J Dave really, really likes. Oh, he's fading in and out of himself. And the, all the gear, that's the back end. Can you see the front end? Can you go over to the front and see? Because we can't really see that, John. That's too dark. Ben, thank you. Uh, some of them call them, some people call them guests. Other people call them uh, victims. The and our next victim is here. The travel, the travel rig is right there. And then uh, Norm is over there. Ken's over there. The guy, <laughs> the guy with lights on him. And over here, of course, we have the uh, truss, the back truss with lights on us. We only have two lights on us. But these are feeding our, our headlights so that we look like angels. Um, and then we have the power strips up there. You can see the power strips, lots and lots of power. Hey, look what's going on back here. What? Oh, the, so those are all of the, yeah, you can't really see that when we're live because we have the lights blowing it out. But uh, that is what is going on behind us constantly all day long. We have. This is, we're in one room, then there are three other rooms that make up this entire conference, the CE line shows.